left hand on Rick, and we'll go to the, go to the questions from the side. Yeah, so Rink, uh, Rink had some swelling in his knee last week, a couple days before the Kansas State game, and uh, got a scan on it just to try to figure out the best treatment option for him. And they found a little loose piece of cartilage in there. So uh, the decision was made to play the Kansas State game. Um, he could not do further damage on it. We just didn't want that piece floating around and getting to a spot uh, where it caused some trouble down the line. So, you know, we, we uh, made a decision with the doctors and, and with Rink, a decision that he was comfortable with to go in and take care of the problem. Uh, surgery went very well. Uh, Doc was really happy uh, with how it went. And he's got very minimal swelling. He's moving around uh, really well. He actually walked on the treadmill a little bit today, uh, a little bit faster than my treadmill workout that I did this afternoon. But, um, you know, overall, Hopefully, uh, we'll get him back. We don't have an exact time frame. I can't give an exact day that he'll be back, but we're hoping sometime in early January. What did his absence do to change things, especially early on when, when you're struggling inside a little bit? Yeah, it, it, it definitely changes things. You got guys playing different positions than they have been playing. And, you know, Rink obviously has been as good as anybody on the floor for us, especially in those two wins against Michigan State and Kansas State. So his absence was felt. I thought early, and uh, you know they dominated the glass in the first half. They they, they crushed us out there. They were getting the loose balls. Um, you know at halftime we really challenged them. They they just kind of had that blank stare on their face, and they were looking at the floor. And you know I just you know get getting after them to say, guys, you understand how good of a basketball team we are when we go out there and are the harder playing more together team. And it wasn't the same in the huddles. You know with guys talking to each other and trying to lead. Uh, out there, and to their credit, after those first couple possessions in the second half, they responded in a big way, and uh, you know found a formula out there. But the effort, I think we out rebounded 21-14 in the second half, which obviously was was a big key, uh, you know, as opposed to what they did to us in the first, and then had uh, ha had a big run to get the lead, and I think get that thing all the way up to 10 or 11, and uh, you know found a way after um, you know four hit those shots there at the end of the game. But, you know, overall, you know, I knew this was a game that we had to play well. This is a very good team, especially with, uh, and, and I'm probably sorry for butchering his name, probably Inacho, uh, you know, came out uh, in, in his second game as a two-time transfer. We knew his talent, and they shoot, shoot it all over the place, and they're very physical and have size. So we knew this was a good team uh, that we'd have to play well. We didn't in the first half, uh, but found a way to come out and play a really complete uh, second half of basketball. How have you seen Jamarcus de uh, develop as a point guard in this early season? Just what do you make of his performance tonight? Yeah, it was great to see Jamarcus knock down some shots there at the end of the game and get us organized. I was really proud to see Jay for going out there. And, you know, he was terrific. The first half, he kept us in striking distance by knocking down those shots and then had that stretch in the second half. We kind of went to him on five, six, seven straight possessions. And, uh, and it paid off not only with the shot, but uh, getting himself to the rim. I thought he had good patience. Uh, in there uh, to get some shots at the basket. Um, but, you know, CJ coming off, and he's been shooting like that in practice. And, you know, it was just a matter of time before he had a game like this where he was knocking down shots. So, um, you know, but Jamarcus, yes, he's he's growing. And, you know, he's playing a position, you know, Jamarcus is credit that he's really never played before, and, and uh, he's learning on the fly. So, you know, big, big win for our team. Uh, we'll have a lot of things we can learn from this game, but it's always better to learn from a win. You as a coach about these uh, games right before it get away. Yeah, it's just like All Star Break. It, it, you know, you always worry a little bit <clears throat> about that last game before you get to go home and, and see your family and your loved ones. And you know, our guys deserve a break. We've been going for a long time, and you know, they've been going hard. And last week was very emotional, winning two huge games with Michigan State, and then going on the road and winning at K State. And I could tell they were drained a little bit that next day, and we went very light in practice uh, to try to recharge them a little bit. And then they came in the next day. And after a light day, I always try to get them up and down and compete. And I could tell they were sore. And you know the, the energy this morning wasn't quite what it has been in the shoot around. Um, but you know they found a way to get into their reserves and, and, uh, and charge up. But yeah, it's always a, a game where you don't, you know, these guys are looking forward to getting home, uh, to seeing their family that they haven't seen. In a long time, but you know, I, I'm, again, I'm proud of them for where we are. We're ten and two. I think we're in a good spot. We've got a couple great wins early on in the season. We've learned from some tough setbacks 
that we've had, and it's an important stretch. I told them, don't go home and just eat cookies and drink eggnog. I mean, they got to get off their butts and uh, get some shots up, uh, take care of their bodies. A lot of them are banged up right now, uh, but we got to be ready to go. We're going to have a couple two-a-days when we get back and, and getting ready for this game on the 29th. CJ said that even on TV here, that a game like this, down 14, you're not playing well, you probably would quit. And then this team finds a way, even though it was ugly. I guess, is this kind of further evidence how this group is, maybe the resiliency is, is different from years past, and I guess that they can figure it out in situations like this? Yeah, I, 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 I have liked the resiliency. Um, you know, we'd like to have some moments back from a couple of the, of the losses that we had, but, you know, tonight, uh, you know, I think from learning from some of the things that happened, I mean, obviously the Creighton game snowballed the wrong way for the entire last 20 minutes. Uh, tonight, even those first two possessions, you know, where you get down 14, the guys found a way uh, to come back. We took much better shots, with the exception of Keisha's, uh shot in the right corner, um, you know, with about, uh, uh, I think, 13 or 14 to go. But, you know, he shoot 57% in the second half. That's two times, um, you know, with the Michigan State game and this game that we've really done a good job and uh, playing much smarter offense in the second half. Our defense led to offense. Our pressure was better. Our hands we're better. Uh, we're able to go to a little bit more of a switching defense with Josiah. He just gives us a little more versatility out there late in the game. Um, you know, that kid still was thrown in bombs. But, you know, overall, uh, again, we're going to take the positives from this and learn uh, from some of the things that we didn't do so well. <clears throat> Got caught a little bit switching. In time. Is that just because rank just a new lineup? I mean, what do you – yeah, and, and they did a good job getting the ball in the pocket. You know, so give them credit for some of the spray out threes that they were hitting early. And uh, you know, we, we adjusted there, in the, especially those last ten minutes of the second half, and, and switched things up a little bit. And I thought it slowed them down a little bit. And we rebounded the ball. You know, the first half, I think they got sixty percent of their misses. Second half, you know, you find a way to out rebound them by seven, and, and I think that's the difference in the game. Thanks, guys. Thank Merry Christmas.